Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a long awaited and much anticipated Warhammer 40k Combat Patrol magazine update. So, if you like this type of content, though, give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below because I love hearing back from you guys and it goes a massive way to helping out the channel. And of course, subscribe. It's the best way to support any small creator. Now, first off, before we jump into the main part of this video, I just want to say thank you for supporting me. One, this video is not going to be like the others that I've done of this tile because my PC is dead, so I can't edit it the way I normally would. So I'm using CapCut on a Chromebook, um, which I'm not used to using CapCut yet, so it's a bit tricky. But we're getting there, and it might be okay, and hopefully it will be, and yeah, we'll see anyway firstly if you're new to warhammer 40k and you're collecting this magazine you may want to know what's coming in the future or if you're an already kind of a dedicated avid 40k fan you may want to know what's coming up in certain issues in case you want to double up and make a bigger army or anything like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the details you may have seen in some of the places on the internet. Uh, so, for instance, this information is all available on Fohammer.com, and we're going to go through what we can get from issue 6 all the way up to issue 20. So, issue 6 obviously was this week, and we got the really cool five barb gaunts, which are super cool weapon platforms that are you know parasitic and tyranids and they're vicious and they're able to do some damage and they're pretty cool and i must admit you get five here if you were buying them from gw you would get five with them however this magazine is only 10 pound per issue whereas if you buy the, bought these five barb gaunts from gw it is 28 pound so nearly one third of the price from GW and you're getting some super cool units so really really good stuff if you watch my weekly videos on each issue you already know that what we're getting next week and the week after are parts one and two of 10 termagants for the tyranid range and one ripper swarm so these are also ranged units for the tyranids and they are kind of your more your generic fodder. So you have loads of them. They're a little bit squishy. So they don't have a lot of wounds. So they can they die pretty quick. But the idea is that you have quite a few of them. They die pretty quick. But they also have firepower to them. So you have more dice to roll and such like and such like. The more you have of them. The more dice you have. And the more units you have out on the field. Which can take down opponents and give you a chance to bog them down to stop them from plowing through and killing your other stuff which is the main thing really for this type of unit now obviously these come in issues seven and eight so we'll get five one sprue in each so they come across on two sprues uh, and you get your bases of course in there as well so pretty cool stuff however that won't be the last we see of termagants we will see more later on moving forward though issue number nine is a paint issue so it's nothing special nothing to write home about it's not a massive saving in fact it's not actually a saving at all so we do get two pots of paint that are going to be very very handy to have so first off we get retributor armor which is a nice gold paint especially for things like your ultra the kind of the the trim of ultramarine armor and that aquila on their chest and such like and a few other bits and pieces like the hilts of weapons and such like that can be really really good for that and we get a bad and black bad and black is very very good for a lot of dark recesses and such like that as well so in between all them bits of the armor and such like that and the space marines really really good stuff you can use them for painting eyes you can use them for quite a lot of stuff so pretty decent paint so it's not too bad however just no saving there moving on from that though issue 10 is actually a really good issue and one i must admit i will definitely look forward to because I really, really like the Space Marine. So we get the Space Marine 
Librarian in Terminator armor. This guy is pretty cool, carrying a big massive axe, sticking his hand out with his twin bolter on his that was mounted to his wrist, and wearing that heavy Terminator armor as well. Is super super cool. He's a cool looking dude. However, that is not the only thing we get with that issue. We also get a medium base brush. These are the synthetic Citadel color brushes. They're the slightly newer brush. They've been around for a couple of years. Um, they're actually pretty decent. They're not too bad. Got one with Stormbringer magazine and one with Imperium magazine. And in all honesty, both of them are actually still usable for mine. And I paint quite regular. And I don't always take care of my brushes very well. So these are very, very good. And they can be used as dry brushes as well as base brushes, which is decent really so pretty good stuff there then moving on to issue 11 it's it's another paint issue in all honesty um both still pretty decent paint so we get corax white and we get lead belcher now corax white you can use it on things like cloaks and such like that you will use it in other armies as well for, for instance for the eldari you might use it on those you may use it on the gene stealers and you can use it anywhere else if you wanted to pretty good stuff the other paint though is even more versatile it is lead belcher now lead belcher you'll use on any metallics and stuff like that so your silvery metallics you may want to use it on things like your blades the barrels for weapons for magazines for weapons and such like that you may even just want to use it on anything that looks like a piston or anything like that as well so that's a really, really good paint to have. Very, very handy. The thing with both of these paints are they separate very, very easily. So make sure you shake them very, very well. Because once they separate, they can be a bit of a nightmare. Now, moving on from that issue, issue number 12, we get more minis. However, this is another one where we get part one and part two. So issue 12 and 13 is our five space marine terminators now i like the terminator armor for space marines it's big it's bulky it's got a weird looking helmet which looks in all honesty a little bit more interesting than a regular space marine helmet however i don't like the color scheme for the generic ultramarines i think the kind of the pipe work on the legs should be a different color so for instance the term Terminator, the Captain in Terminator armor that we get with issue one, I have done him with silver work, so it's not not actually fully painted. So it's like part of it has just been cobbled together, and I think it looks a little bit better. However, entirely up to you. If you want to follow it exactly what it does in the magazine, you can do. If you don't, you don't. Your choice, though. But they are pretty cool. Um, I must admit, I'm not a Space Marine player, and I partly am tempted to get two lots of this magazine this issue just because i might want some more terminators i genuinely don't know though maybe we'll see moving on from that though issue 14 we go back to paint so the first paint we get is rat car flesh you will generally use this for any kind of bare naked human flesh uh you may use it on the gene stealers later on and the astra militarum and maybe one or two other bits and pieces you may use it for things like purity seals and such like but yeah it's not too bad it's not a bad paint um i must admit i don't use it very often and it's another one that separates fairly easily so it does need a lot of shaking sometimes the other paint you get though is screamer pink which can be very very versatile and very very handy so anything that you've painted barragnar burgundy so for instance purity seals uh the carapace for any of the tyranids you may want to use a screen of pink to highlight these and give them a little bit of edge highlighting as well to make them stand out and bring a little bit of color to them it's not a bad paint at all you can even use it on things like a um, tongue or anything like that or even the gums and lips and such like that for any of the monstrous units but we'll see how the magazine plays out with it but yeah it's a pretty versatile paint moving on from that though another unit but i must admit i really really like it's a tyranid unit and it is for psychophage this guy is big it's mean it's got loads of teeth uh, and probably one of the coolest looking tyranids around 
genuinely super cool, super cool unit. Um, I must admit, I'm looking forward to it. It's a really, really good one. Um, it's definitely the standout unit from the Combat Patrol box for the Tyranids. Um, yeah, yeah, genuinely a lovely unit. It's got rows and rows of teeth, which look absolutely monstrous, and it's got a Space Marine's arm that is dragging towards its maw from its tendrils, but near its mouth. Yeah, it's cool. It's a really cool unit. I like it. Now, moving on to good old issue 16 of Combat Patrol, we are going to get two more paints. So we'll get Mephiston Red, which is a really good, vibrant red. You're going to use it for things like the Sergeant Helmet, uh, and you'll use it in a few other places like the Eldari Armor and stuff like that later on. And we also get Squig Orange, which, while it's more of a layer paint and you can use it as base coating, you will be using it mostly for things like the edge highlights of any red. So anything that you paint with Mephiston Red, you can use it as an edge highlight on there, and you'll be using it elsewhere as well. It's a pretty good versatile colour, um, but you're only going to use it in a little bit. You're not going to use massive amounts of it, in all honesty. Now, after that though, so, issues, good old, uh, what is it, issue 17 and issue 18 are our kind of duplication issues. So, Part one and part two of our second lot of termagants. So these obviously we mean the Tyranid Warriors with firepower, um, different weapons. So you can do them in different styles. They look pretty cool. Yeah, they are what they are. Obviously, this is going to be our second lot. So we have 20 in total and two Ripper Swarms. Fairly versatile, fairly pretty decent. Obviously, they are a bit squishy, but it is what it is. But they're still pretty cool. So that builds up a very good, kind of powerful swarm style army for you. So it gets you going quite nicely. And then issue number 19 is a really good one if you're a Tyranid fan. So this is our bonus Tyranid mini. So the way Combat Patrol magazine is working, every faction that we get in has bonuses. So we have the Combat Patrol, and we also have a bonus unit as well. In the t case of the Tyranids, we get the Parasite of Mortrex. I really, really like this guy. He's big, he's mean, he's winged, he's monstrous. It's pretty awesome. I do genuinely like it. I think it's one of the best-looking Tyranid units out there. Um, genuinely one, I must admit, I'm really looking forward to getting hold of, because it'll be really good fun to, to do, and, yeah, just an enjoyable enjoyable kit so really good stuff there and then finally issue number 20 it is our bonus space marine unit so there's not a lot to this one he's a pretty cool guy he's got some really good details to him um genuinely pretty decent though so this one is our chaplain on bike i do like this guy it looks very different because you're not meant to really paint him up as an ultramarine. He's kind of a part of the chaplains. Uh, they work separately, but within cha certain chapters. Um, this guy, school helm, book chained to his bike. Bike's got two guns on it, carrying a stave of his office, and looks pretty badass in black armor. Genuinely, black armor on a space marine looks very, very nice, and is uh, pretty cool. And he has a different armor style to it as well. Pretty ace. Just a genuinely nice mini. Why he's posing like that, I just never know though. But really good stuff. And in all honesty, that is it. So that's the first 20 issues. So that'll be all the Space Marines, all the Tyranids. Not a lot much more to get after that. We'll have, obviously, all the different factions. So we won't see any more Tyranids. We won't see any more Space Marines. But we will see Leagues of Otan, Eldari, Orcs, Gene Stealer Cults, Astra Militarum, also known as uh, the Good Old Humans. And then we also get um, Chaos Warriors, Space Marine, Chaos Space Marines, should I say? Not Chaos Warriors, I'm thinking of Age of Sigma there. And World Eaters, I think it is. But yeah, really, really good stuff. So two Chaos Factions. 
and then several Xenos, and then obviously the generic humans of 41st Millennium. I'm personally looking forward to the Leagues of OTAN, because I do really, really like them. And I must admit, I'm looking forward to the Astra Militarum. I don't know why, but I do like the Astra Militarum as a unit, as a faction. I think they look pretty cool. I must admit, I'm a, I do like the Adeptus Sororitas. And I think because they have that synergy together as well, as like they do with Space Marines, I think it works very well. But super cool stuff. Um, genuinely, this collection is a really, really good collection overall. We are going to get more issues where they're worth really really worth buying so you're going to get some really good value for money out of it and then obviously we're going to get paint issues which aren't as good value for money but it is what it is but anyway that is enough from me thank you so so much for watching um and i'll say at the beginning of this video obviously this has been edited on a chromebook um yeah could be better but we'll stick with it for now until a new pc is bought or a this one decides to spring to life. Who knows? Thank you very much for watching, though, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye now.